Hey there, I'm Trisha and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the books that I'm really looking forward to that are releasing this summer. So I want to talk about some of the books that I have pegged as releasing in June, July, and August this year that I think are up my alley and that I want to keep an eye on as the release date gets closer to see if it's something that I am interested in reading. So I want to talk about these in the order that they release. The first book on my list is Born Bruja by Zoraida Cordova. This is going to release on June 5th and this is the second book book in the Brooklyn Brujas series. I read Labyrinth Lost last year and really enjoyed it and I am really looking forward to this one. It does follow a another sister in the family and I don't know too much more about it than that but I really liked the kind of whimsical style that the author writes with and I love reading about kind of modern day witches from a different culture. They aren't witches that are descended from like the Salem witches. So I'm really intrigued by this next book in the series. The next book I am looking forward to is actually an adult historical fiction called The Mercy Seat by Elizabeth H. Winthrop releasing on June 14th. This book is something that is a little bit outside of my normal reading range but something that I find to be incredibly interesting. It takes place in 1943 and it follows a young black man in the final hours of his life. He is in prison on death row and at midnight he is going to be executed. He is going to be executed for a crime that he did not commit. He was accused and convicted of raping a white girl and the story follows the 24 hours around his execution time and it follows him and I think eight other characters and the one of the characters who holds the key to releasing this young man from jail. It sounds really sad, also really intriguing, and because it is outside of my comfort zone, it is something that intrigued me enough that I want to add it to my TBR list. The next book releases on June 19th. It is called The Unbinding of Mary Reed by Miriam McNamara. This is one that I just happened to stumble across when I think I was on NetGalley and it hasn't gotten good reviews so far. Like it's it's sitting with its uh, advanced reviews at three stars-ish on Goodreads. However, it is uh, <laughs> Lady Pirates. There's a Lady Pirate in it. You had me at Lady Pirate. I'm going to re read it regardless of the reviews on it. This is about a young woman who has disguised herself on a ship in order to be out at sea and when their ship is attacked by pirates she thinks that she's gonna have to continue to disguise herself in order to hide amongst them as a, as a young man but realizes that there, there's a female pirate on this pirate ship and she doesn't disguise her gender. And I think it has spy representation in here. It sounded really intriguing. It is also based off of two famous pirates from history. So it had an intriguing premise. Despite the reviews on it, I am going to be picking it up. Next up on my list is a middle grade novel releasing on July 31st. It is called The Land of Yesterday by K.A. Reynolds. This book is a whimsical kind of story in the vein of Coraline by Neil Gaiman and this looks absolutely delightful and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Out of everything on the list I think this is the one that I'm most excited about. This is about a young girl that her younger brother has died in a tragic way and his soul has gone to the place where all souls go that is the land of yesterday. As time passes she realizes that her world is starting to crumble around her and her family is starting to crumble so she goes on to this adventure through the land of yesterday to try to repair what is going wrong with her family and the world that she knows. It sounds so whimsical and so sweet like a fun little magical realism sort of story and I cannot wait for this one. Next up is a YA, I believe, thriller that is releasing on August 7th. It is Girl at the Grave by Terry Bailey Black. And this sounds like it is about a young girl 
who her mother is a convicted murderer and she lives in a small town and nobody ever lets her forget what her mother did and then a, another murder happens and everyone believes that it's her because of the past with her mother and she decides to go out and try to figure out who the real murderer is with the help of only one person who believes her to be innocent. Again, I don't like knowing too much about the thrillers that I pick up when I go into them, so that's kind of a vague synopsis, I guess. It has gotten pretty good reviews, advanced reviews so far. And the last book that I'm sure is on many people's lists for anticipated releases this summer also releases on August 7th, and it is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Racek, I think? I'm, I'm not too sure on that. I forgot to look it up before I started the video. I apologize. This one is a fantasy book. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it did mention something about outlaws and pirates and like war-torn areas and I think. I, I don't know a whole lot about it. All I know is that you said pirate, you had me at pirate, I'm in. So that one has also made my list. All right, so that is all of the books that I wanted to mention in this video. There are some others that are coming out that I'm excited about as well, but these are the ones that have made the top of the list as most interesting sounding to me for this summer. Let me know in the comments below, are you interested in any of these books or what is your most anticipated release for this summer? And now is a perfect time. If you have not already done so, click that little subscribe button down below if you want to see more content from me in the future. And if you want to follow me elsewhere on the interwebs, I have all of my social media links in the description box down below, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!